It's Thursday at 1 p.m. and the bell rings for the start of the afternoon sessions here at St. Catherine Academy, Belize City. The students and teachers start filing back into their classrooms. But all the first and second form classes look like this. So where are the students? They're not behind their desks. They're at home, logged into today's classes using their electronic devices. Today, SCA has its first cyber day. It's a stay school at home day. And what it means is the students should be in class, but from home. Good afternoon, Erin. So our teachers are here. They're teaching from the classrooms. We ask them, um, still go to the classrooms, engage your class, prepare, have a lesson as if your students were in class, except that they are wherever they are and you are here. The exercise is part of the school's preparation. If there is a COVID-19 outbreak in the country that requires school closures or limits the mobility of students. We realize that um, if we have to close the schools, then will we be ready to do the learning from home? And so we decided our teachers, very proactive, our team of heads of department, they said, let us try it. Let us test it and see if it will work. And for first and second form, it was easy because we have the Digi platform, we have Microsoft Teams, the teachers have been using it. And so we realized all of our students, so just about six, I believe, did not have internet at home, but they could find somewhere where they could access internet during the day. Mm -hmm. And so they're all um, able to access the learning today. We couldn't talk to students who participated as they were home. The teachers were on campus and very excited about today's test run. Science teacher Orlando Broomfield was delivering an intro to physics lesson to second form students. Luckily, SCA is one of the schools um, that, that will have um, this option. Yeah. Um, it's awesome. The students don't have to be here. Um, we teachers too don't have to be here. We don't have behavioral problems, right? Much more resources for them to go to if they can't think of answers um, on their feet. And um, I think they like it because no one has complained yet. It was wonderful having, you know, my girls at home. And some of them were actually in their pajamas. And um, they were so excited, especially like we went through like sharing screen and teams and stuff like that. We had presentations going on. Okay. So um, I had like... Majority of my students presenting online like that. My main concern was to ensure that I have all of my girls' attention, you know, because in the classroom, that's already something that we need to be very vigilant, not have them gazing out. I had my list with me, and the moment I called their names, here, miss, and they were immediately giving me my answers, you know. And I, I do think probably they had extra information that they were giving me the answers I wanted. And how do you know they're not Googling the information on Which the Which I think would have worked in a positive way because they're finding relevant information towards my lesson. Limitations would be students thinking that they can trick the teacher and don't have to be in class. They don't know we're monitoring that. Um, if the student has problem with their data. Okay. If there is disruption at home and which is why we ask our teachers come to school because from home you might be tempted to do multitask, be doing something else. Yeah. And same thing may apply to the student. Is it your hope that it doesn't get to the point where schools have to close? Well, of course, as it is, we're looking at our seniors and we have exempted them from this because they have such a short time ahead of them. We don't know if it will affect CXC exams. There's no definitive plan for the closing of schools when and if there's a confirmed case in Belize. But it is a new virus and we're still learning about how it affects children. While people of any age can be infected, so far there are relatively few cases of the disease reported among children. Currently, the advice from the Ministry of Health is to focus on hygiene and reducing transmission. Um, in regards to um, schools and, and students, we are making recommendations and we're advising um, not to, we're advising the social distancing, um, any big crowds, um, we're trying to minimize um, those events. Um, sporting events, um, large assemblies, um, just to reduce the spread of germs. We support um, the child's learning. If they're 
feeling unwell, showing symptoms of flu, it's recommended that they stay at home and recover and, and that way not spread the germs to other children. Um, and we emphasize the hand washing and, and proper hygiene. According to Principal Tillett, proper hand washing is the first phase of their preparedness plan. We have our science department, for example, they will be teaching the students how to wash their hands properly. Mm -hmm. So we have eight sinks in the science lab and the kids will go there and they will learn how to wash, scrub under the nails, mm -hmm. back of the hands, the thumb, etc., as recommended by the World Health Organization. Today's test run will be followed by surveys with the students, parents, and teachers. Next week, the rest of the schools except for the seniors, will test run another cyber school day. What grade would you give this experience today? Today, definitely 100%.